The X1 is well-built, practical, and even boasts an excellent powertrain, but can it outshine its combustion-powered sibling? While not as innovative as the i3 it indirectly replaces, the BMW X1 is a very well-put-together EV with an excellent powertrain and a suitably premium-feeling cabin that helps justify some strong pricing. The compact SUV blends practicality with a sporting drive very nicely, but poor brake pedal calibration and an over-firm ride restrict its score. Last year, production of BMW's i3, a reasonably early entry to the EV sector, came to an end. There won't be a direct replacement, with the larger BMW X1 partly filling the space the i3's departure has left in the lineup. Comparisons between the pair are inevitable, and rather interesting, as the two vehicles do things very differently. While the i3 was a bespoke model made with a complicated part carbon fiber, part aluminium structure, the X1 is merely an electric offshoot of the new X1 SUV, built on the same platform as multiple BMWs and Minis. The X1 has normal-sized wheels, which in 2023 means large diameter and width rims, rather than the skinny things fitted to the i3, and where the i3 looks rather quirky, the X1 is thoroughly normal. If you ignore the giant kidney grills, that is, bemoan the X1's more conventional nature all you want, this will, we expect, lead to more popularity in the showroom. The i3's slow sales suggest it was a little too out there, for its own good, and it was also complicated to make. In more ways than one, the X1 makes a great deal of sense for BMW in the next part of its electric car journey. But is it any good? Certainly from the inside, the X1 does plenty to justify the range's £53,295 starting price. The cabin is a premium feeling space with excellent material quality and a general feeling of sturdiness. The dashboard is topped with a curved panel incorporating a pair of displays, one forming the instrument cluster, and the other featuring infotainment and climate controls. Yes, like other BMW models featuring the new iDrive 8 operating system, the X1 lacks physical knobs and buttons for the latter functions. The central screen does at least keep the temperature controls displayed constantly, so heating up or cooling down the cabin isn't too fiddly. Continuing a theme we've seen on other newer, smaller BMW models, there's no rotary iDrive controller, which seems like a shame. The device has long been a trademark of BMW's infotainment setup and is really easy to use on the move. Throughout our time with the car, muscle memory found us reaching for the non-existent dial, leading to a little pang of disappointment each time. Meanwhile, BMW's newer steering wheel design looks surprisingly simple and minimalist compared to earlier efforts, but look closely, and you'll see all the key buttons are there. Behind it is a single, left-hand paddle, which engages the boost mode, allowing the two electric motors to deliver their full potential for 10 seconds. Together, the pairing provides 313 bhp and 494 newton meters of torque, which might sound a lot, but the X1 does weigh over 2 tons. So, at full throttle, it feels brisk rather than properly fast, once you're over the shock of the instant delivery of that near minus 500 newton meters torque output. If you'd like, acceleration can be accompanied by a sci-fi-esque feedback noise provided by film composer Hans Zimmer, which works surprisingly well. What doesn't work so well is the calibration of the brake pedal, which makes it very hard to smoothly pull to a stop. The first part of the pedal travel doesn't do a whole lot, but press it a little firmer, and the brakes bite aggressively. One way around this is to use the strongest of the regenerative brake settings, which allows for one pedal driving. Although we tested the entry-level X-Line version of the X1 rather than the M Sport with its more focused suspension setup, we still found it too firm. The car is a tad jittery on some surfaces at higher speeds, while speed bumps and larger potholes can be felt in the cabin quite conspicuously. As it stands, the body stays plenty flat during hard cornering, so BMW could afford to soften the damping a touch. The steering doesn't offer much in the way of feedback, and as we find in many current BMW products, it's quite a weighty setup. It's predictable enough, though, and set at the right sort of speed. It's also possible to do a little bit of steering from the other end of the X1, as a greedy mid-corner throttle application can lead to some limited movement from the rear axle.
It's a fun, engaging car to drive quickly, helped by a chassis that does a good job of shrugging off the X1's considerable weight figure. During more relaxed driving, we did encounter a little more wind and road noise than we might have liked, but nothing too egregious. In any case, you can always drown these out with the excellent Harman Kardon surround system, a worthwhile 660 pounds option. During our time with the car, we averaged 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour, which doesn't sound too impressive, but a good chunk of the test was done in battery unfriendly sub-zero temperatures. In warmer conditions, we'd expect that number to rise considerably. As it stands, a 100% charge displayed a predicted range of 200 miles, compared to an official figure of up to 270 miles. On the subject of charging, the X1 can be topped up at a rate of 130 kilowatts, which is lower than some rivals like the Volvo XC40 recharge, but enough to take the 64.7 kilowatt hours battery pack from 10 to 80% in a very reasonable 29 minutes. The main part of the cabin is just as spacious as the combustion-powered X1s, and while boot space has dropped from 540 to 490 liters, the decrease is all in the underfloor storage area, so most of the time you won't notice. In any case, what remains of the underfloor compartment can still squeeze in a charging cable. Model, BMW X1X Drive 30X Line. Price, 53,295 pounds. Powertrain, 64.7 kilowatt hours battery, 2XE motors. Power, torque, 313 bhp, 494 newton meters. Transmission, single-speed automatic, four-wheel drive, 0 to 62 miles per hour, 5.7 seconds. Top speed, 112 miles per hour. Range, 270 miles, WLTP. Charging, 130 kilowatts, 10 to 80 percent in 29 minutes. On sale, now. That's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on our list? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more future videos.